All came in at approximately 2 p.m. Um, both were pronounced deceased at 2.50 um, pretty quickly after our recovery. A quick and tragic recovery effort yesterday afternoon at Dunbar Lake where two men drowned. Lubbock Fire Rescue dive teams pulled two men from the lake, one 16 years old, the other 41. KMAX Cameron Mendoza spoke to rescuers and investigators. Two males were pulled from the water, pronounced deceased on scene by UMC EMS. The medical examiner's office now working to publicly identify the two who drowned in Dunbar Lake Wednesday afternoon. Lubbock Fire and Rescue's Interim Chief Robert Canis says first responders and Elevar's dive team leaped into action when they got the call, but were working against the clock to locate those in the water near the dam. Witnesses reported there were two in the water that was struggling that went under and did not surf. Chief Canis says thanks to those witnesses, recovery efforts did move quicker. The eyewitnesses were extremely helpful on a location, on a dive team incident that can take the majority of the time in a large body of water uh, of trying to pinpoint exactly where they went under. Um, eyewitnesses were very helpful in a location and um, really sped up uh, our dive team's recovery efforts. However, questions are still unanswered in the case. We're investigating with eyewitnesses to, to try and determine if they fell off the dam or not. Um, right now, we're not positive on how they came to be in the water. As summer kicks off, Chief Canist is asking folks to be cautious around water, whether you're in it or not. I, I do want to put out um, through all of our City lakes, ply lakes, um, safety is paramount, number one. E even if you're at the edge of the water, a life jacket is always recommended. A slip can easily happen into the water. Uh, always know that in our ply lakes and waterways by city ordinance, swimming is not allowed. And always think safety. Cameron Mendoza, KMAC News. Well, Chief Canis says those two men were not found with any kind of life jacket. They were able to confirm this was not related to paddleboarding, which is popular on that lake.